So I'm Jeff Moss with Black Hat. I'm Moxie Marlinspike, also with Black Hat. We're in DC here, and uh, Moxie gave a fantastic speech earlier today about uh, some inherent vulnerabilities in HTTPS. Because if you come down and think about it, it's really dependent on HTTP. And as we all know, that's a pretty secure protocol. And so Moxie put together a pretty great presentation detailing a number of ways in which this uh, chain of trust falls apart, especially around SSL certificates. So, why don't you tell them a little bit about this long-standing problem? Uh, yeah, I think um, the talk I did today was mostly trying to introduce um, kind of like a new vector of attack uh, against HTTPS. Uh, the idea is that most of the time people only interact with HTTPS uh, through HTTP in some sense. And uh, if that's true, then there's, uh, there's, that opens up all kinds of avenues for ways that you might uh, end up hitting HTTPS down the road. And uh, I gave, you know, I basically explained this vector and then gave a couple examples of things you might do. But there's actually kind of like a whole ecosystem of attacks that uh, exist that are possible. This is just the, the iceberg. Right. Yeah, and uh, there's someone who Black Hat, we run a, a site, uh, and we even, when you mentioned that the way people get the SSL protected sites is mostly through links, I mean, who types in HTTPS anymore? Nobody. And so we've gone through and carefully tried to correct every single link on our web page to HTTPS, but nobody's going to type that in. And there's no good way to redirect people to HTTPS. We can't somehow turn off HTTP to our site. Yeah. And you were talking about the problem with 302 redirection. Yeah, even the redirects are vulnerable because you can hijack the redirect and uh, you know, prevent the upgrade or do something else. Yeah, so even as simple as having our homepage redirected to the SSL site, that's not any guarantee. No. And uh, to prove this point, you tell about your great tool you're going to be releasing tomorrow. Oh, yeah. Uh, a tool called SSL Script. And uh, it does what you want. You deploy it on the network, and it man in the middle uh, all the potential SSL connections on the network. Uh, and that's growing on your previous work. Right. SSL Sniff, which was. Uh, the, the definitive yeah. SSL <laughs> Sniffer. I mean, hey, that's what you use, right? Right. So that was, uh, that's a general purpose man in the middle tool for SSL, and this is specifically attacking the bridge between HTTP to HTTPS. And does smart rewriting of headers yeah. and stuff. content type to, to allow the server. That's the other part that was so interesting is the more I think about it, there really is nothing you can do on the server side. No. I mean, you're, if you operate a server, you're screwed, which is so sad because that's the easiest place to fix this. Yeah. Um, yeah, I mean, there's things you can do, but it becomes kind of an arms race, and it's really there are not elegant like solutions. A lot of people today were talking about two-factor authentication, which is it's true you can deploy two-factor authentication and prevent people from harvesting your login credentials, but you can still get the session cookie. You can still and you can still observe all the email, observe yeah. everything that they're yeah. doing online, and that's quite valuable too yeah. sometimes. Yeah. And then uh, I know somebody brought up the question of uh, certificate authentication. Right, uh, client certificate authentication probably help solve this problem. Um, I haven't thought about it that much, but there is uh, it's it's probably good start. Yeah. yeah. I can't think of too much more you'd be able to do. Uh, it's complicated JavaScript in there to try to put that in, just strip out the JavaScript yeah. or put in the return values that you want. Exactly. Ah, what a nightmare. So you are saying, uh, we were talking earlier, that uh, some of these problems have been around for, I don't know, six years, ten, I mean, since people first started using it. HTTPS. Right. Yeah, totally. The I mean, I was saying the original basic constraints vulnerability that I ended up publishing for SSL Sniff was that was around for six years before I disclosed it. You disclosed it in two thousand and two. Two. Yeah. And we're it's still. And you said you said, you said you're still suffering. I mean, when you audit or you look for this problem, there's still certificates issued with no basic constraint sure. requirements. So, yeah. Uh, and also, yeah. I mean, this. You know, this. You know, attacking this bridge between HTTP and HTTPS, I mean, that's as old as yeah. the deployment of HTTPS, right? You know, this has been around. And when, and when we talk about SSL, TLS is the same. Sure. We sure. use that word interchangeably, right. so it's not just SSL v3 or something. Right. And then I'm guessing you could deploy this on any kind of SSL connection for like SMTP TLS or POP TLS. Yeah, I mean, the there are different tricks for different protocols. Right. Yeah. So, uh, Pretty scary. Check out his video. We'll be posting that online as well. And download his tool from thoughtcrime.org. Thoughtcrime.org. Thanks. Thank you.